Well, now they're the people who've tried everything for their health, only to find sitting in a salt room is the one treatment that helps. It's simple, inexpensive, and it seems it eases all kinds of conditions. <laughs> It's a very viable therapy, it's safe and it's inexpensive. It's helped me. The benefits are there, they're huge. Four-year-old Bowie Lewis is breathing a little easier these days, a fact her mum and dad credit to salt therapy. An amazing improvement. You know, there's no magic pill for our problem. There's no medication that, that makes it all go away. Little Bowie was born with a brain injury and now has severe lung damage due to chronic aspiration. Put simply, when Bowie swallows, part of the fluid goes into her lungs instead of her stomach. Because of the damage to her lungs, for most of her life, Bowie has relied on an oxygen machine to breathe. It's hard to express what it's like when you can't pick up your daughter and let her run and chase her through the house. It's, it's, uh, it's very difficult to see, you know, where she's stuck. <laughs> The benefit of coming to the salt room was that the, the salt in the air was helping to keep the bacteria in her lungs out, um, making her lungs stronger and, and able to clear infection, cleaning, keeping her lungs nice and clean. But for Bowie's parents, Steve and Monica, being able to take her off oxygen support was simply a miracle. That was just over a year ago now. and. Um, we found in the first six months, we started to be able to decrease the oxygen she got from the machine. And then in the next six months, we were actually able to take her off the machine. It's been amazing just being able to, uh, to see her just happy and free and confident and it's given us a lot of um, just peace of mind, really, yeah. that anything's possible. Its technical name is halotherapy, a natural treatment where users inhale tiny particles of salt in an enclosed room. For people who suffer from a respiratory disease like COPD, asthma, people with allergies, people who just find it hard to breathe. It's also claimed to help skin conditions like dermatitis and eczema. Nutty Harpers runs salt rooms in Sydney. They're opening more salt rooms in Parramatta. Sessions are 45 minutes long and cost around $40. We have a lot of people um, who just come on a regular basis three times a week and they just feel huge improvement in their well-being and health. The wall is made from salt rock from the salt mines in the Ukraine. The floor is covered in coarse grade salt and the air that's pumped into the room is infused with microscopic salt particles that makes it easier to breathe. The benefits of inhaling salt were first discovered in Eastern Europe. Workers in salt mines were found to have less respiratory illness and fewer skin conditions. My lungs are clear. Ortelobrase has been an asthmatic her entire life, requiring Ventolin daily. A week after I started, I started really reducing dramatically the Ventolin. Three months later... I don't have to use the puffer anymore. I don't need to carry it with me all the time. <laughs> 86-year-old Bill Cheek has had bad lungs due to pneumonia. He told a current affair after six years he's finally off his nebulizer. I've gone from three times a day to not at all, just a maintenance if I want it. I think it's very effective, it's very safe. Basically we're talking about an, an environment that is low in bacteria, low in allergens, which promote obviously promote allergies, and you're breathing in this micronized uh, salt and it's very good for the lungs because it makes the, the mucus secretions very fluid and you can clear them so much better. Dr Ross Walker hails the benefits of this natural therapy. People, especially with chronic lung problems, people with, say, chronic asthma, chronic airways disease, cystic fibrosis, there's been a number of studies to show it's beneficial in cystic fibrosis, and it doesn't have the major complications that therapeutic drugs have or major surgery. So I, I really can't see a problem with this at all. But Professor Karen Phelps has previously told A Current Affair there's no conclusive modern studies that the procedure works. What we really need are scientific studies to say what does this work for, who does it not work for and who might it be dangerous for? Those are questions that haven't yet been answered. I think that there's a logical scientific reason why salt therapy would help people with respiratory diseases and I have no doubt that this would have contributed to Bowie's improvement. Getting her off 
oxygen was an achievement that the doctors didn't think we would, we would make for a few years, and we were able to do it in a, a much shorter amount of time with this therapy and everything else. Hope is what we have, and, and we really believe that she's writing her own story. She's an incredible kid.